Round two, Mr. Don Terrace. It's 1138 in the morning, West Coast time. It's still the 14th of November, 2023. Your friend out here in the West Coast in Rosemond, California, Weaver John C. How you doing, my friend? We were talking about, I don't know, Grinch going crazy and people going crazy, and then I have to get all zen like crazy just to get myself centered. I got a school report that's due next week, and I have to do something about understanding math in my own in my own viewpoint, my own life. I got a teacher who's trying to educate me on how to understand and appreciate math all around me. Well, if you have a look at the Japanese Zen Garden, in a way, it is mathematical, but it's also quite serene. And regarding the holiday situation, Don, I'm glad that you got people that you can celebrate with. If you noticed, every time I had been communicating with you or anybody else on my channel, a diary of the griever named John Weaver. But not in the title is me. I've always had a camera angle showing them all the time. I said before, Ma has been 10 years, Dave's been 5. It gets harder and harder to celebrate it sometimes, you know. I have a area that I had really taken down in over a couple of years. I kept it up with Christmas decorations. I replaced the batteries for this year. I got fresh batteries to replace the re remote controllers. But I needed something to help me celebrate this holiday season. But the thing is, I'm doing it as uh, commiseration. A memorial of sorts. Of trying to tell a family, I if there's only a good way to say this thing in the first place. The holiday season is important to me because it was important to my family. And when they were alive, Holiday seasons, you know, the Thanksgiving bird, and then you got the Christmas holiday, and then you got the New Year's with the fireworks and driving our dogs crazy. But it was family together time. And that's what hurts. I don't have any blood kin. No. Nobody else wants to deal with me in the first place. I'm black sheeped. Long time ago. Everyone else has got their own thing to deal with and I don't. And the other thing is what I keep talking to them about if I actually if they actually see my videos or see the postings that I've done on Facebook all the time. I'm in a constant grieving situation. Yeah, hurts that badly. I also deal with a 24-7 bug war. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, see, people say excuses. Just get out of here. Housing market sucks. So it's the rental market out here. We got months to nearly a year's waiting term on different apartments. I'm stuck where I am. I make the best of it. I make the best of it of what I can. Not the easiest but it's there. Unless I'm still able to pay rent. Disability does that. Long story is a lot of videos. Yeah. Suffice it to say, Don, it's been a challenging life. I'm almost coming to the tail end of completing almost a decade, almost a decade of going to a community college, taking courses just for a degree or two and, and learning more about things that I didn't know about. And as a kid, screwed up a lot of times in the educational system. Go to college two years in a row and didn't even get the GPA to a point where 
I could be kept for another semester. They kicked me out for about a year. Ma gave me two choices. Either work full time or get out of the house. Live somewhere else. I didn't want to lose my comfortable home. So I worked my ass off. A long while. Different jobs, different occupations. Tell one job, the last one I had damn near killed me. Never have a truck tire, even without the rim in it, fall on your face. So you can bite your back and your neck. And your brain. Yeah, ouch. So I'm stuck with that for a long while now. But what was tearing me apart, what was tearing me apart is my family. Said before, Ma was 10 years ago. I was helping my brother being a caregiver. Uh, several years were challenging enough. And she goes, we got evicted, got into a trailer home, tried to rebuild our lives without her. She had seen the house. I had somewhere I got pictures. I should have posted more on my Facebook page. Maybe I'll get a movie made out of the thing. I don't know. I got to work on that one. Maybe. But a lot of pictures concerning about holiday. Got an older picture somewhere. Somewhere in my earlier videos. I just don't know where the hell the damn thing went. But it was hard as hell. I talk about this one in length on how to deal, or how I'm dealing with the morning grieving and roller coasters and everything else going on to me. Makes the season a little bit harder. I have a console stereo that we've had in the family for God knows how long, about 50 years, more, 60, I think. Past couple of years, the top of it has been buried with teddy bears, with or various forms of stuffed animals, anyway. A couple of them with stuffed with uh, caps on them, heads. Not to mention uh, uh, small Christmas trees, battery powered. Yeah. Lights on them, anyway. I'm just trying to deal and, and trying to cope through this holiday season, Don. Yeah, my bad antsy, antsy and uh, every time I keep coming close to this thing, it just builds up the the roller coaster, and I'm just almost about to get on the damn thing to go emotional and cry my eyeballs out and go into a thorough depression that I need every damn what I got right now for projects that still need to be worked on. I have until the end of this week, but still, I need to take care of things. And since I'm already feeling the wave right now, it's like, okay, screw that one today. <laughs> Still got class tomorrow i got to deal with, and nothing to be turned in, thank God. Not yet. Until next week. I know a lot of people want to push people around and say that they want things done their way. We live in a world of Karens, you know that? Self-righteous, egotistical, megalomanias at this point over here saying, I'm right, you're wrong, and please tell me at one time you're a Star Trek aware. Maybe you watched The Next Generation, probably about the third or fourth season where they actually had the Borg. That kind of mindset. we got people like that. You're right, lacking humanity left and right. Shh, they had sold it a long time ago. My brother kidded me a great deal, but he never liked anybody else kidding me either. My brother was very protective, Don. He would 
would like them. He would like you too. He was a protector, warrior. Sometimes he talked a great deal, being a braggart a little bit, trying to be a smart ass. But there had been times in his life he had been a royal Adam Henry. But he was still still family. He was still my brother. We watched out for each other. We protected each other's six. I was never in the military. Sometimes I wish I had been. But I was his caregiver. I was his brother. Last few years of his life, it was hard, but... I wouldn't trade it in for anything else. He was my brother. Yeah, anyway, I think I'm probably going to end this early at this point. It's getting to me. It's getting to me. I, I'm, I'm sorry for dumping on you, my friend. I hope I hope you celebrate and enjoy your family during this holiday season. I hope all of you bring lots of love to each other and for each other. You take care, Don. You take care. <laughs>